Hey guys, welcome back. I'm the Bento Buster at Bento Buster HQ in Tokyo, and today I'm making some hummus. This is my version of the dish, and I'm giving it a Japanese twist. I'm making white miso and citrus hummus. This dish is delicious, and I know you're going to enjoy it. Now to start off, you're going to need some chickpeas. In fact, two cans of chickpeas. The trick is to add the chickpeas in batches, so I'm going to add one can at a time. I've drained one can, and I'm adding it to 120 mils of water. And this is sudachi juice. Sudachi is a Japanese citrus. It's kind of like um, yuzu. Overseas, this will be pretty hard to find, so I suggest you replace it with maybe lemon juice or lime juice. By the way, I'll be needing two tablespoons of this mild yet distinctive juice. Now to make hummus, you need tahini sauce. But hey, I live in Japan and that stuff is really hard to find. Then I thought to myself, what could be a good substitute? Then it came to me, hey, shabu shabu sauce. This is gomadare, a sesame-based dipping sauce for dishes like shabu shabu. This will be my Japanese tahini sauce, and I'm gonna need 60 mils of it. And this is white miso. White miso is light in flavor and sweet, and it's less overpowering than the other types. So, it's the perfect miso for this dish. And I'll be using 40 grams of it. And to boost the flavor profile, I'm gonna need two cloves of garlic. Paste, pureed, or grated, it's up to you. And this wouldn't be complete without our good friend Pepper. Okay, now it's time to put on the lid securely and blend it all together. Now, if I put all of the chickpeas in at once, this would take forever to blend. So the trick is, once the first can of chickpeas is nicely blended, go ahead and add the second can. And of course, make sure that you drain them first. Now you may well ask, hey Bento Buster, how long are you blending this for? Well, from start to finish, I'm blending it for about four to five minutes. And after that period of time, you should have some lovely light and fluffy hummus. And just look at that, perfect. Hey, it's not peanut butter. This is white miso and sudachi hummus. And there it is, some beautiful light and fluffy hummus. Now it looks great, but it's still missing something. You guessed it, the hummus swirl. But don't worry guys, I'm gonna add that soon. And of course, to finish it off, I'm gonna need some olive oil and wait for it, some katsuobushi furikake. There are so many different types of furikake these days, just choose one that suits your taste. Now I couldn't find any pita bread, but the next best thing in this neck of the woods, mini naan. And of course, if you want some heat, some Japanese chili pepper aka shichimi. Okay, let's get to work on the swirl. Now, as you can see, when it comes to making hummus swishes or swirls, I'm a complete amateur, but I hope this one will do. And to finish it off, I'm gonna drizzle on some olive oil and sprinkle on some furikake. With all these Japanese ingredients, this dish really has a serious umami profile going on. And trust me, that's a very good thing. And there it is guys, so what do you think? I think it looks pretty good, if I don't say so myself. Okay, I've got my Japanese spoon ready, so let's start the taste test. Oh yeah, now this is looking super creamy. Now I'm no hummus expert, but this is looking pretty darn good. Hmm, what do you think? Maybe just a tad more furikake? Ah yes, that's the ticket. Oh yes, flavor bomb. Man, that is good. Can't believe I actually made it myself. Now, I don't mean to brag, but this is up there with some of the best hummus that I've ever had. White miso, shabu shabu sauce and chickpeas, delicious. And it all goes really well with the sudachi citrus juice. And it leaves you with a really pleasant aftertaste. It's really quite refreshing. Now listen up guys, for this dish, only use white miso. If you use any other type of miso, it's gonna give you a different experience. Okay, that's it. Let's check it out with some Japanese chili pepper. Oh yeah, now that's a good combo too. This dish definitely is a winner. Now this dish is super easy, really flavorful, and I think you really will enjoy it. So guys, 
Let's give it a go. Thanks for watching guys, I'm the Bento Buster and I'm out of here. Take care and I'll see you next time. And as we say in New Zealand, kia kaha, stay strong.